Welcome to day three here at Cybos 2021. Lots of great events to come today, and we'll be talking about a few of those in just a moment. But first, let's look back at some of the highlights from yesterday. Technological innovation is transforming our lives, changing the way we work, live and interact. Financial institutions across the globe are seeking to deploy established and emerging technologies to gain operational efficiencies, redefine current business models and unlock new sources of value. Westpac Banking Corporation's Managing Director, Di Chaloner, gave her thoughts on the challenge of emerging technologies to a spotlight session. Customers today wanting short-term credit no longer go to their banks or pull out their credit card, but they look to buy now pay later players such as Afterpay, Zip, and even the likes of Klarna, who together have over 6 million customers in Australia. This significant shift in customer behaviour requires banks to really rethink how to position in this new world. For instance, if large banks become utility providers and the customer experience is now managed by these new players who wish to embed financial services in their customer's journey, what bank and what role do we play? And technological innovation continued as a theme in the CEO of Citibank, Jane Fraser's view from the top. What we're seeing now is more of a revolution with new architectures supplanting old ones. And the way our industry has operated for decades, it's going to be replaced with new ways. And the scale and the speed required to serve our clients, it's of a completely different magnitude. The ability of fintechs and startups to drive innovation was also reflected in the view from the top of Frédéric Odier from Société Générale. Uh, fintechs, uh, startups have a capacity to provide uh, a certain service, a certain part of the value chain with uh, new technology, uh, with added value, with uh, a capacity to provide even more efficiency uh, uh, at a cheaper cost. And from that perspective, it, it is sound to have this kind of competition because we have ourselves to, to, to innovate. Later in his session, Mr. Adia went on to discuss the role of the banking sector in the development of cryptocurrencies, saying, Cryptocurrencies developed by central banks, not independent ones, will be certainly part of the future. At least there is strong willingness, whether it's in China, US, Europe, to, to effectively consider this kind of development with the idea probably to say at the end of the day, it might be again more efficient, it might maybe replace the cash. Uh, and again, it's part of a natural uh, advantage of uh, new technology. It would be no surprise that digital currencies were discussed in the Big Issue debate, which asked the question, what should a 21st century central bank look like? I would put it that uh, all central banks uh, would need to future-proof themselves uh, for, more, for wider adoption of uh, CBDC in future. You don't know whether it's three years down the road, five years down the road, or further down the road. Uh, but this is something that no one can, can really ignore. So a small flavour of yesterday's debates and discussions. And there's plenty more to look forward to today, particularly on the topic of non-fungible tokens and other digital assets of the future, which will form the basis of our big issue debate. We'll be hearing from Sir John Cunliffe, the Deputy Governor of Financial Stability at the Bank of England, and the Bank of America's Bernard Menser. Elsewhere, you can enjoy the final of our Discover Perfect Pitch competition, a chance for fintechs to show their products and services to the Cybos community. And if you've managed to book your seat, there is a Swift Inner Tribe pub quiz. All tastes and interests catered for at Cybos 2021.